What up, YouTube? Midwest Sports Card Chaser, we're back, and it is Bowman Day. Don't mind my Cardinal stack over there. <laughs> but uh, we got some retail Bowman. Uh, got lucky, got to the Walmart not long after it got restocked, so we got to have some Bowman for the YouTube content. So we are going to open this up, see what we've got. We've got two blaster boxes and five cilio packs so hopefully you know who we're looking for we're looking for mr J jason dominguez hopefully he shows up a couple times makes this worth it because resale value on these things are way high way high and they're only going to get higher but i want to put quality stuff on the youtube so guess what we're ripping these so, with that being said, let's go ahead and start with the blaster boxes first. Do one box at a time instead of the normal way we do things, which is just open both boxes and packs all at once and get that done that way. Let's do it a little different. All right, here we go. Blaster number one. There are our Bowman packs for blaster number one empty box let's do this let's go and as always trying to scoot up and knock you guys on the floor but I caught you you didn't hit the floor you fell in my lap so hopefully we just got that done and out of the way and that's the only time we'll do that tonight can't make any promises pack one here we go come on focus there we go. Got a Mike Ustremski, Willie Adamas, Chris Bryant, Spanning the Globe, Joe Adele, Anthony Vogt, first Bowman, Tyler Freeman, Bowman Chrome, Logan Davidson, Bogan, Bowman Chrome, Dozier, Story, and Baez. We got a Yankee. But it's not the Yankee. No offense, Anthony Volt. I think you're going to be a great player, but you're not the reason why these packs are so hot. So we got two hits first pack. Not terrible. Got some good Bowman Chromes. They just weren't Bowman's firsts. So those will get stored separately. And we got the Joe Adele Spain and Globe. So pretty. All right, one pack down. Here we go. Moving on up. Moving right along. Pack number two. We have got Cattell Marte, Sean Murphy rookie, Buster Gratterall rookie. We've got a Bradlin Marquez, number 97 out of the top 100. Colton Welker, Kubert Ruiz. Mackenzie Gore, Key Brian Hayes, Evan White, Brian Reynolds, Willie Calhoun, and Zach Gallen. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the Key Brian Hayes in the hit pile because that dude's going to be a stud for the Pittsburgh Pirates. I am letting you know that right now. If you can get a hold of his Bowman's first, the Chromes, especially Chrome Color, go pick them up. So pack two wasn't as strong as pack one, but that's all right. We still got plenty left. Key Brian Hayes. And a Brendan Marquez. I am all about left-handed pitching prospects. This kid's going to be a good one. Um, hopefully he can stay profiled as a starter and not end up as a lefty out of the pen. But if he goes to the pen, he has closer potential as well. Good good young prospect. Love left-handed pitching prospects. Can never get enough of them. Can never get enough of them. Pack three, Zach Collins, Andrew Morjohn, Seth Brown, Rookie of the Year favorites, Kyle Lewis, Keone Cavaco, Jordan Blazovic, 
C.J. Abrams, Nick Mandergold. That is Tristan Lutz, Andres Munoz, Sheldon Noyce, and we're going to go ahead and put Mike Trout in the hit pile. Anything Mike Trout. Anything Mike Trout goes in the hit pile. Blazevic first. Boom. That goes over there. Mikey Trout. Yahtzee. And the Rookie of the Year favorites. Mr. Kyle Lewis. I mean, we're getting good Chrome cards. They're just not firsts. We need more good, good Bowman Chrome firsts. First Bowman. First Bowman Chrome. Let's go. The Mook. Mookie Betts. George Springer, Junior Fernandez, Yaziel Diaz, Top 100, Bowman Chrome. That would be number 84 out of the Top 100. Got a Joe Ryan, Adam Hall, Shane Baez, Mason Denneberg. Okay, Bowman's first, Miguel Vargas. That beats a sharp stick in the eye. Jack Flaherty, Alex Young, and Nick Solak. Miguel Vargas beats a sharp stick in the eye. I know Dodgers fans are high on this kid. Don't know much about him myself, but Dodgers fans are high on this kid. Uh, he was a Midwest League All-Star choice, batted 325 with a 399 OBP at Great, Lake, Great Lakes, earning him a promotion to Rancho Cucamonga, where he logged an 869 OPS over three levels in 2018. Damn. This dude's tearing the cover off the ball. Played in Cuba's top circuit and as a 14-year-old and represented the nation in the 15 and under level. Man. 2019 totals, he slugged 440 with a 308 average, 7 home runs, 77 RBIs. Yeah, I can see why Dodgers fans are high on that kid. Seems like that guy can hit. And then the Yasiel Diaz. I'll top load these later. I've got a, a fresh set of top loaders. If we hit a big hit right away, that'll get obviously put in the top loader right away. But anything else I will top load after we are done saves us some time. All right, Tony Gonsolin, Yu Chan, Tim Anderson, Luis Robert. Retro Bowman Chrome. Luis Robert. Retro. I said I would top load them if the hit was big enough. I guess we will break open the fresh pack of top loaders and get Mr. Luis Robert in a top loader. Fresh out the wrapper top loader. Had to wind up going to a antique mall to get top loaders. They had them for sale in the display. I went and bought a couple of them straight out. Just to make sure I had some. There we go. First big hit is a Luis Robert Bowman Chrome Retro. Alright, I did it again. 
I'm not at my normal desk. This one's a little smaller than what I'm used to, so I I hit the side again. My bad, guys. I apologize. Christian Pache. Whoa, bingo. I know I took it off camera fast. I don't know if you saw it, but you're about to see it here in a minute. You are about to see it in less than a minute if you didn't catch who it was because I pulled it off camera fast. Bingo, Dominguez, first Bowman paper, right there, right next to Mr. Luis Robert. Here we go, Joey Bart, Kobe Waltner, or Colton Welker, my bad, Julio Rodriguez, Mauricio Dubon, Michael Baez, and Travis Demerit. I'm telling you, we are pulling good Bowman Chromes, but they're not first Bowmans. All right, last pack of Blaster Box number one. Here we go. Whit Merrifield, Yelich, Liriano, Talent Pipeline for the Kansas City Royals, Bubik, Foster Griffin, and Khalil Lee. Chris Valamont. Aaron Ashby. Spencer Howard. Hunter Green. Austin Beck. John Means, Vogelbach, and Bryce Harper. Not bad for Blaster Box 1. We got a Luis Robert retro Bowman Chrome and a Dominguez Paper. Hopefully we can get better results out of blaster box number two. Here we go. Let's get it. Come on. The contents of blaster box number two. You can see the box is empty. Not hiding anything from you. Here we go, pack one, box two. Here we go, Yu Chan, Tim Anderson, Whit Merrifield, Christian Yelich, Christian Javier, Jazz Chisholm, Bram Capusano, Wander, I will take a Wander, Logan Gilbert, Solak, Dubon, Baez. I will take Mr. Wanda Franco. I know it's a second year. Bowman. Oh well. Wander's Wander. Blaster box pack two. Box two. Here we go. Ramon Liriano, Yastrzemski, Willie Dames, Albert Elzele, Spanning the Globe, John Diaz, Paper, Oscar Gonzalez, Paper, Bowman's Firsts, that is an Aaron Ashby, Kalenic, Demerit, Means and Vogelbach. That was a pretty good pack. Pretty good pack. Again, Kelnick, like the guy, wish it was his Bowman's first, but I'll take a Bowman Chroma, Jared Kelnick. Chrome first of Aaron Ashby. Again, like I said, I'm very pro left-handed pitching prospect, so that is a good Bowman's first, especially to be in my hands. Oscar Gonzalez, hear good things about him. John Diaz. I the Rays are one of the teams I follow. I am a Cardinals guy at heart. I always will be, but I do follow the Rays. I know a little bit about this kid. 
uh, is the number seven prospect on Fran Graphs on the list of top international prospects of 2019. And he's number 18 on MLB.com's list. Uh, starred in the Dominican Prospect League, trained in the Dominican Republic with German Rosario, drew heavy interest from the Boston Red Sox, primed for his professional debut in 2020. The kid is 17 years old. Signed as a free agent, 17 years old. Dude can hit a ton, and the Rays develop prospects. That is what they do. Keep a close eye on that kid. And Albert Alzale, spanning the globe. All right, pack three. Here we go. Halfway through the second blaster. Bryant, Cattell Marte, Sean Murphy. Number 73 of the top 100, that is Andres Jimenez. Adaman, Mata, Dylan Carlson. Get used to hearing this guy's name. Huge Cardinals prospect. Uh, that is that uh, Briam Capusano. Nate Pearson. Watch that kid too. Kid's going to be a stud. Harper, Dozier, and Story. Well, that was not the strongest pack. The only thing we got to show for it is the top 100 card of Andres Jimenez. Don't know much about him either. Pack 4, Blaster Box 2. Buster Gratterall, Zach Collins, Adrian Morjohn, Nico Horner, Rookie of the Year favorites, Chrome. I like it. Aaron Shortridge, Bowman's first. Nate Peterson, Paper. Brady Singer. Dane Bunning. Baez, Reynolds, and Calhoun. Okay, come on, Bowman. Come on, Bowman. You're going weak on me. Nico, Rookie of the Year favorites. Don't you go getting weak on me now. Let's keep it going. Keep it hot. Let's go. Seth Brown. Biebs. Bellinger. McNeil. Damon Jones Bowman first. Hans Cruz. Drew Waters. John Diaz. John Diaz, Bowman Chrome to go with the Bowman paper. And again, you might not think that this is that big of a hit to, top, to sleeve and top load right away, but I am telling you, the Rays love this kid. The Rays love this kid. He's going to be a stud. So he's getting top loaded and put there with Dominguez and Luis Robert. Uh, Zach Allen, Munoz, and Sheldon Noyce. Alright, last pack of blaster boxes before we move to the Celio packs. Before we move to Celio's. Tatis, Snell, Scherzer, Altuve, Andrew Vaughn. Another guy to pay attention to. Guy's going to be a player. Ian Anderson, Zach Thompson. That is my PC guy. We are putting him over here for our own good. Uh, let's see. Spencer Howard, we've got a Bowman Chrome Gold to 75 of Alec Thomas. Alec Thomas. To be 100% honest, I do not know much about Alec Thomas. It's got some factory lines in it, but it's to 75. So it's getting top loaded right off the go, right off the jump. Come on, get in there. Get in there, you booger. There we go. Bowman Chrome Gold to 75, Alec Thomas. 
Right behind him is a Mike Trout. Anything Mike Trout is good. Lindor and Max Muncy will close out the blaster box portion of today's show. Two blaster boxes down. Got a couple of Dominguez. Got a couple of Diaz. Got a Bowman Gold Chrome. Uh, hold on. I don't want Mr. Zach Thomas or Zach Thompson just floating out here on the wind all by himself. He's getting sleeved and put with the hits because I PC the guy. That's a hit in my book. All right, five Celios. Got two packs of Bowman and a pack of Bowman uh, camos in these Celios. And you know how we're going to do it. We always do it the same way. We are saving all the camos for last. Saving all the camos for last. Celio pack one. Vladdy. It's a pretty decent start. Jack Flaherty. That's my pick for this year's NL Cy Young, by the way. Spanning the globe. Isaac Paredes. Don't exactly know who that is. Chris Valdemont. Aaron Ashby. Hunter Green. Grant Levine. Newman. Bo Bichette. And Kyle Lewis. Bobo Rookie goes into the hit pile. Aaron Ashby goes in because he's going to pair with that Bowman Chrome we pulled earlier. Chris Bowman. Villamont, Bowman first. And spanning the globe, Isaac Paredes. I do not know anything about this guy. Uh, Parade is a 2019 All-Star Futures Game selection. Closing in on becoming the seventh Mexican-born player to wear a Detroit Tigers uniform. Strong-armed, sweet swing infielder. Tuned up for each of the past two seasons by playing in uh, the Mexican Winter League. I'm not going to try to pronounce the city. I am a purebred Missouri redneck. You don't want me trying to pronounce Mexican cities. Unless you want a good laugh, but that's neither here nor there. Um, Lucas Giolito, Urania, Mejia, Luis Patino, uh, yeah, Luis Patino, number 26 on the top 100. There is another Dominguez popping another Jason Dominguez. Dominguez paper. Dominguez paper. Going in the top loader pile. Hunter Bishop. Julio Rodriguez. Hans Kraus. Nico Horner. Miguel Cabrera and Ahmed, or not Ahmed Rosario, Eddie Rosario. I don't know what I'm thinking with Ahmed Rosario. I mean, Ahmed Rosario is obviously the shortstop of the Yankee or the Mets, but I don't know why I said Ahmed and not Eddie. I clearly saw the Twins uniform. All right, busting it open. Camo parallels. We're going to have a whole run of them at the end. Here we go. Here we go. Robel Garcia. Jesus Lazardo. Anthony Kay. Wander. 
Wander makes another appearance. Retro, Bowman Chrome, Wander Franco, Shebang. There we go. Ryan Mountcastle. Pay attention to this guy. He is going to be on the Orioles big league roster. The guy can hit a ton. Dane Dunning, Shane Baez, Shane Baez Chrome, Wilfred Astudio. Uh, apparently, he is the cousin of the uh, twins, Willinus Astudio. They're both catchers. Let's see what it says here. Uh, homered in the third, homered in third Appalachian League game, hit safely in nine of his initial ten games at Kingsport, posted an 8.36 OPS in August and an 8.12 in June. Uh, sent sends barrel on economical path to the ball, aggressive early in the count, but will take watch walks if pitchers nibble. Battles stubbornly with two strikes, owns a strong, accurate arm, played two seasons in Dominican Summer League, and is the younger brother of Willinus Astadio. So he's his younger brother, and his cousin, Willifon, signed with the Blue Jays. Okay, so the Astadio family is doing their best Molina family impersonation, it looks like, with Jose, Benji, and Yadier. Starting it off right, Gavin Lux, Jordan Yamamoto, Shohei Otani. Uh, we got a talent pipeline for the Baltimore Orioles. Yossiel Diaz, Ryan Mountcastle, and Adley Rushman. That is a good talent pipeline right there. That'll actually go in the in the pile, the semi hit pile. You got a uh, Joe Ryan. Zach Thompson, he's got to go in there. He's my guy. Uh, Colton Welker, Luis Garcia, Isan Diaz, AJ Puck, and Bobby Bradley Jr. Uh, Yamamoto, you can go in the regular pile. Shohei, you can go in the regular pile. Zach Thompson, Joe Ryan. The talent pipeline for Baltimore. And Gavin Lux. Gavin Lux Bowman. Gavin Lux Bowman rookie. Alright. Moving right along. Camos. Are piling up. Piling up. Excuse me, head itch my nose. Trevor Story, Javier Baez, Brian Reynolds. Woo! Retro Bowman, rookie, you're done. You're done, Alvarez. Bowman Chrome Retro Rookie Card. That is sharp, man. I like the look of that. I like the look of that a lot. That is sharp. Whoa, whoa, the hit pile's going everywhere. I'm gonna try to clean this up a little bit. Try to clean this up a tad. There we go. Champagne Supernova, Bryce Terang, George Mateo, Jonathan India, Jesus Sanchez, 
Whit Merrifield, Christian Yelich, and Ramon uh, Ramon uh, Loriano. Guy's got a cannon. One of the best arms I've seen in a long time. As far as throwing from the outfield. All right. Here we go. Abraham Toro. I hear good things about this guy. Some uh, Astros fans are very high on this kid. Savale. Savale is going to be a really good pitcher for the Indians. Dustin May. Jesus Sanchez, number 48 in the top 100. Brady Singer. Ronnie Mauricio. Joey Bart. Kanan Smith. He's going to be a good one. Uh, Paredes. Scherzer. And Luis Robert, rookie. Luis Robert. You know what? Let's go ahead and top load that. That'll go in the top loaded hits. It's his rookie card. All of his rookies are going to be paper. And all of his prospects are going to be chrome. So, rookie card, RC. Going in the hit pile. Or going in the top loader pile. Kanan Smith. This guy, all he does is hit, man. All he does is hit. Solid outfielder. Just rakes the ball. And... Jesus Sanchez, number 48 in the top 100. All right. Last two Celio packs. Give us some more. Give us some more to be excited about. Max Muncy. Matt Chapman, Kakishi, my man, Brendan McKay, Rookie of the Year favorites. I firmly believe that he can be the AL Rookie of the Year this year. That is a firm, firm belief on my part. Especially if they keep letting him hit and be a two-way player. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Grant Levine, Luis Robert Paper, Drew Mendoza, Nolan Gorman, my guy. Two Cardinals back to back. Look at that. Bowman Chrome, Matthew Libator. You are no longer a Blue Jay, homie. Or you are no longer a Tampa Bay Ray. You are a St. Louis Cardinal. Get him off of that uniform and get him in the right one. I want to see a Libertor card with him in a Cardinals uniform. Luis Castillo. Hanser Alberto. Uh... Soroka, going to be a really good player. And look at that. Another Wander. Wander spanning the globe. For the Dominican Republic. Wander grew up in a baseball-obsessed family that included his uncle, Eric Ibar, and two, and two brothers who became pro players. Wander has a chance to be the best of the lot, a five-tool phenom with an explosive swing from both sides of the plate. He has ascended to MLB.com's number one overall prospect at 18 years of age. Wander, baby.
Nico Holscheiser, TJ Scooball, Drew Mendoza, Nick Allen, Seth Brown, Biebs, and Bellinger. I am running low on penny sleeves. I should have brought in a fresh pack up here with me. People love it on Tyreek Scooball, too. Um, as far as Nico Holsizer, I do not know much about this kid. Uh, apparently, it was a Midwest West League All Star. Player of the Month in May in the Midwest League. Crushed three home runs against South Bend on April 15th. Middle of the order thumper with immense size. Possesses sneaky speed and uses it judiciously. Experienced at all three outfield positions. Sells out on tough catches. Led Division One players with 27 homers in, at Moorhead State in 2017. Overcame a broken hand he suffered his junior year, acquired at the deadline from the Dodgers in 2019. Okay, then. Sounds like he's a player. Sounds like he's a player. All right, last two packs before we start busting out those camos. like a little bit more color if we can get another color that'd be great Trent Grisham rookie Escobar Joey Votto Tyler Freeman number 91 in the top 100 Sheldon Apostle people are loving that guy too Pereira a lot of love for him Adam Hall Rolando Hernandez, Austin Nola, Logan Allen, and Justin Dunn. Justin Dunn. I've heard great things about Pereira. Let's see, number three ranked prospect of the Yankees. By Baseball America. Served as the youngest regular in the 2018 Appalachian League and still batted in the three hole. Grew up a Yankees fan. Uh, okay, well, his, his numbers don't look very good. He hit 171 with a home run in 18 games in 2019. For Staten Island. Young kid. Young kid. Like I said, I don't know much about him, but, but Yankees fans are talking about him, that's for sure. Apostle. Two fifty one, four forty slug, nineteen homers, fifty nine RBIs. Okay. Dude's a masher. Tyler Freeman, shortstop for the uh, Cleveland Indian system. If uh, Lindor winds up going anywhere, that's going to be your, your shortstop of the future. Here we go. Last pack before we get to the camos. Starlin Castro, Glaber, Buster Posey, Eric Pardinho. Don't know anything about the kid, but it's a Bowman Chrome. Will Wilson, Clark Schmidt, Luis Gill, Damon Jones first, Chrome, Arenado, and Lorenzo Kane. Lorenzo Kane. And I am out of penny sleeves, so let me pause this and go get more. All right, back with more penny sleeves. I know it's going to be seamless for you guys, but it was a minute or so on my end. So when I say I'm back, I haven't lost my mind. Oh, you little bastard. 
trying to open the penny sleeves and plunk. Pricks don't want to open. Come on, come on. People don't want to hear me struggling with penny sleeves. There we go. Pardinio. Eric Pardinio is from Brazil. All right. Camos. Here we go. Camo packs. Celio exclusives. Sweet. All right. Forrest Whitley. Cody Hose. Byron Laura. Bowman's first camo. Hans Cruz and my man, my man Zach Thompson. I get a Bowman Chrome or a Bowman camo of my guy. I like it. I like it. Dude's gonna be a stud. Was a straight bulldog at the University of Kentucky. Byron Laura. Bowman's first. Had no minor league stats. He was the number three international prospect in 2019. The 2019 class from MLB.com and Fangraphs inked with the Texas Rangers at age 16. Expected to make his pro debut in 2020. Physically imposing kid with five tool potential. Creates excellent locks, launch angles and exit velos. Tracks fly balls accurately in the outfield. Covers 60 yards in as little as 6.7 seconds. Man, that kid can fly. Ooh, that's going to be one to hold on to. For the Texas Rangers, Byron Laura. Wow. Okay, then. Uh, Cody Hose, if you were a Bowman's uh, first Bowman, I would so hold on to you, but you are going in the, the common stack for now. Ah, static, man. They don't want to get rid of these cards. Ronnie Mauricio, Chrome or uh, Camo, Bowman's firsts of Apostle and Pereira. You got an Alec Manoa and a Nolan Gorman. That was a good pack. Manoa is the only one that's going in the common pile. Every one of these, every one of every other one of these is getting sleeved up. And our hit pile is going all cattywampus on us again. Let's straighten that out. That is a thick hit pile, folks. And I'm being relatively stingy on what I consider hits. So that is a good thing. Alejandro Selagis. Nick Bennett. Matt Manning, Hunter Bishop, and Austin Beck. Well, we are sleeving up Mr. Hunter Bishop. Even though it's not his first, Hunter Bishop's a baller. Nick Bennett, Bowman first. Um, the Slab Stocks guy is hot. He's high on him, but he's not. If he wasn't a brewer, he wouldn't be as high on him as he is. But Nick's a Brewers fan from um, Slab Stocks from the Digging Corners podcast. And uh, Alvardo Sejas, he's a Cardinal. No clue about the guy, to be 100% honest with you. 
Uh, it was a Midwestern League All-Star, had a 2.93 at Peoria. My buddy uh, Troy Poole would probably know a lot about this kid. He goes to Peoria games a lot. Uh, invites weak contact early in the count with heavy low to mid-90s fastball. Breaks off a two-plane curveball. Also features a changeup. Stays in and around the zone. Has grown five inches since entering pro ball. Wow. Talk about a late bloomer. Son, son of an accomplished basketball player. Was 2.9 years younger than average circuit peer at Palm Beach. Okay. Threw 134 innings, went 8 and 6 with a 2.81 ERA with Palm Beach and Peoria. So yeah, the guy's the guy's a pitcher. Guy can pitch. Two camo packs left. Come on. You know who we're looking for? Why don't you give him to us? Drew Waters, Grant Little, Kanan Smith, Debbie Garcia, and Tim Kate, not one Bowman's first. But the two Yankees. The two Yankees are going to go in the hit pile. Kanan Smith is a hitter. And Debbie Garcia, I hear great things about that guy. It's all about keeping your ears open to what prospects are doing what. Knowing who to invest in, man. Because that's what these guys are. Everybody in Bowman, man. Every prospect card in Bowman is like a future stock on the stock exchange. Alright. Jaseel De La Cruz. Casey Mize. Tyler Freeman, Nick Allen, and Key Brian Hayes. Not a bad pack. Not a bad pack. Key Brian Hayes is going to be a third a stud infielder for the Pirates. Said Tyler Freeman's gonna be a good one for the for the Indians, assuming that they don't re-sign Frankie Lindor, Casey Mize, first overall pick last year. Dude's a stud pitcher. Stud pitcher. And Jaseel De La Cruz. I've got a couple of. Bowman's of this guy. Got a couple of his chrome cards. I got a first edition chrome of him. Uh, is the number 14 Braves prospect. Went 3 and 1 with a 193 ERA in single A Florida. Bagged double A's first, uh, his first double A victory on 530. Fan 10 batters versus Biloxi on July 7th. Quick, loose arm, easy produces mid 90s gas. Can win battles at the top of the zone, beats up heat with, or backs up heat with a slider and a changeup. Uses strong legs to produ produce power. Refined Arsenal during two seasons in Dominican Summer League. Relatively late bloomer who signed out of the Dominican at age 18. Okay then. All right, guys, let's go over our big hitters, our our top loaded hits. Spanning globe, Wander Franco. Rookie of the Year favorites, Brendan McKay, Luis Robert rookie, Retro Bowman Chrome, Yonder or Jordan Alvarez rookie, Wander Franco, Retro, Jason Dominguez Paper, Alec, Tom, uh, Alec Thomas out of 75. We've got a Jan Diaz, a, another Dominguez Paper, and Luis Roberts retro bowman prospect card and i'm not going to go through all of these but this was our what i will call non-top loader worthy 
hit pile, which will all go in top loaders eventually later. That is a thick stack of cards. I would say today was very, very, very good. Very pro. It is a pro collector day. There are days where you just rip wax and rip wax and rip wax and get absolutely nothing of value out of it. We've all had those days. Today wasn't one of those days. I had fun. It's a great product to rip. I am a pro Bowman 2020 uh, guy. You won't see us ripping retail out uh, here, though. I can't afford $350 a box, and I definitely can't afford almost $650, $700 for a jumbo. So you won't be seeing that on, on the channel, but we will do more Bowman if I can get my hands on more retail. All right, guys, you've listened to me ramble for about an hour. I'm going to go ahead and cut her off. Until next time, we're out of here.